In this good or great unboxing video, we will unbox this GAN Hello Timer. The design on the box of this GAN Hello Timer is beautiful. Let's open up the package and see what's inside the box. Alright, let's open our GAN timer box and see what's inside the box. So, be sure to stick around until the end of this video and we will tell you if this GAN Hello Timer is good or great. In my humble opinion, of course. So, let's see what's in the box. So, it has the timer. Nice. And we also have the user manual. Right. And let's open this box and see what's inside. So we have a charging cable here. Let's check out this GAN Hello Timer. So at the bottom of the timer, we have two screws and we can use it to attach the timer to a GAN mat. So we will take out the screws and screw this timer onto the mat here. You will find two holes on the left and right. And once it's attached, you will look like this. Alright, you can use the hex wrench that is provided by the timer here. You can just pull it out and you can use it to take out the screws here. Alright, let's put it back. So at the side of the timer, we have the data port and also the charging port here. And on the top of the timer, we have the this digital display and a blue logo button to turn on and off the timer. And we also have the left and the right touch pads. So to turn on or reset the timer, press the blue logo button And the timer will be on. So on a digital display, it will show the timer, the battery life, and also the Bluetooth status. To turn off the timer, just press and hold the blue logo button. It will display the date and the timer will be off. Let's turn on the timer again. So to check the last 5 results and the average of the 5 results, press the blue logo button twice, like so. And you will see the average of the last 5 results here. Right. So with this timer, you can actually do some customization. So when you start the timer, by default, you can see that it's uh, showing blinking lights and you can actually change it to a non-blinking light. So let's try to do it now. 
So in order to switch the flashing mode, we will hold the left touch pad and press the blue logo button. And you press it one more time. There are a few settings. So you will select the one that you want and then you let go the left touchpad and the setting is set. So the flashing light is gone. The next customization we can do is to change the color mode. So in order to change the color of the touchpad button, we will hold the right touchpad this time and then we will press the blue logo button. There are I think up to 10 different colors that you can choose from. So let's go with the green one, right? So you just lift up your hand and the setting is set. And when we start the timer again, As you can see that the light is now green. Right? Overall, I think this is a great timer. It allows you to customize the light mode and the colors of the lights on the touchpads. It is beautifully designed as well with very sensitive touch pads to capture accurate timings. So, we have come to the end of our GAN Hello Timer unboxing video. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel so that we can hit our first 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, and we will see you again in our next video.